Good morning and welcome to my channel Chris Fellong here and this channel is all about running and lifestyle and everything in between and today I'm having a bad day actually the day is just starting at 7 a.m. but I've had a bit of a rough couple of days just with frustration of things that are really annoying me and some of them <laughs> when thinking about it some of it is because of my own doing and choices I've made and things like that but at the same time <sighs> when you get stuck between the balance of work and personal life or things that you want to be doing but you, just, you can't do because you have it's just a lot I'm frustrated and the purpose of today's video or the purpose of today's run is to really go through all that. I want to, the intent of this run is really to just get out and clear the head. I just want to go on a cruise and just, just get into some better headspace. But at the same time, I also want to just kind of break down frustration and why frustration can be good because it helps us really if we take the time to go through the frustration and see what's really driving us to be annoyed and frustrated well we can start to figure out and see if there's things that we can you know control things that we can take steps to do better um, and we can really use it to I guess drive us to make change uh, so I'm trying to stay positive and <laughs> I was thinking how am I gonna do anything today because I am just so annoyed with little things and Anyway, I don't want to make this all about, um, you know, here, here's me complaining or ranting, but essentially we're going to get out, do this run and see what happens. Uh, I want to kind of cruise. I just want to listen to a podcast, kick back and relax for a bit, probably do around 7K and then we'll come back and I'll, I'll have a bit more of a, <laughs> a chat around maybe how I'm feeling and see if I can break down what's really annoying me. I know I've kind of just reset what I've just said, but... I'm just working through it. So, hope you're all doing good. Hope you're all having a fancy day, whether it's the weekend, whether it's the week, uh, wh whatever the time is, wherever you are in the world, I hope it's going all good. Lots of things happening at the moment in the world, so I hope you're just doing strong. Um, yeah, all right, let's get out. Let's get this happening. 7K to do. It's the sun's coming out. It should be pretty good actually. Hopefully we'll get a nice nice view some nice footage and uh, Some good running vibes to get the smile up and up and up, but uh, we'll talk about some of the frustrations And how to deal with them once we get back. So let's go Look at this so so good Whew. 7k done and dusted <laughs> what a uh, what an emotional roller coaster run was everything I needed from the physical the mental sorry about this and also the emotional I think There's, there's a lot of things running does. It, it is, it really is something which is a tool. <laughs> it's not just an exercise or a chore. It's, it's just a time to get away and really just deal with things, right? As I said, 
got a lot of frustrations at the moment and going for the run it helps me just kind of break it down and sort through them and I think what frustrates me the most and this is the one that hits hard the most is some of these frustrations are simply because of my own bad planning my own bad my own bad you know decisions or whatever and some of those is whether it's to do with procrastination or it's just to do with I don't know there's just a lot there and I know some of it there is <laughs> things I could do better there's always things I can do better and I think identifying frustration and then bringing it into the elements of like well okay you're frustrated that's that's great what are you gonna do about it what can I control what can I take action on what can I learn from and I think that's what I want to break down going through these frustrations one going for the run it just helps me clear my head but the first thing is that identifying and understanding and acknowledging there is a frustration and using that to motivate you to make a change to make something better or different uh, sometimes that means you just got to push through uh, but sometimes it just means what can you do to avoid this again what can you do to put steps in place to avoid this again uh, and sometimes the answer isn't easy it's gonna be a bit more hard work but you got to do it and that hard work just might be realizing I've <laughs> I need to just do better now at the same time it's also understanding if if there's things there that you can't control things there that you you can't have a say in. and I've kind of mentioned this before on a video is understanding well what are the processes in play what are the things driving this what are the things though you can't necessarily control those how can we refine those how can we do them better how can we <laughs> automate how can we change them is and this isn't just I, I mean I'm, I'm purely talking about work and because my frustration is I now have to work on the weekend because of a number of different decisions that were made and delayed work and things like that and it just so happens that's the way it's gonna land but reflecting on this well one thing I'm gonna do the work anyway it's more around how do I ensure that I can avoid it more and more in the future <clears throat> but the other point is with this I guess example how are you putting this into play in the rest of your life like I sound like a broken record but if you want something to change you have to take the step to change it I've just been listening to Pat Flynn's let go just finished the book recap coming on recap coming up on that soon but he, he really does break it down that a lot of the time we're just like a little kid learning to swim and we're sometimes too scared to go from the side of the edge into the pool because we're, we're, we're worried we're going to drown well we're fearful that we're going to drown but in order to grow we have to let go and this is with sp small things big things everything we have to learn to let go and I don't want to steal the thunder of that that video that I'll do on the on the recap of that book but it is some good stuff it's I mean I don't know I don't know if I'm speaking in <laughs> in code here or if I'm not even getting my point across but what I can say is me having this conversation with you whoever's listening it's making me feel good so thank you it's just a bit of a rant bit of a whatever but if you have frustrations how do you deal with them what do you do about them and and how do you leverage them to enable you to do better in the future that's the topic of this video and that's what we discussed and that's the question I have for you let's get into the stats all right so pretty solid run actually very solid run got into a nice groove had a bit of fun there was no really pressure to do anything in particular I just wanted to do a nice yeah average size run 7k just to kind of clear the head and just get into a groove and a trance and just escape all the fluff it's just that's what I love about it and tomorrow I would like to do a longer run maybe 10k or more and I'll probably need it because I am working this weekend the long runs are the thing that enable me to just kind of separate from it all so that's the plan tomorrow but we're talking about today so let's have a look and see how we went all right there you go 7k done and dusted 603 pace pretty good 
153 pace as well. I mean, 153 heart rate. Um, let's jump on over here. Look at this. So, the first thing I want to say is, look at that finish. I absolutely smashed it, and that was because I had some music. I was just feeling good, and yeah, it was much needed. Much needed. Very good cadence. Pretty good performance above baseline. That's good. That's epic. All right, that's done and dusted. So, look, that's all I have for you today around frustration and please do let me know how do you deal with frustration what are the things that really frustrate you things that frustrate me the most at this point in time is when I have to work on the weekend and when it's not out of sorry what I don't like is when I have to work on the weekend and I haven't you know what forget it I'm not even gonna go there I just get frustrated when I work on the weekend <laughs> What's your frustrations? Let me know in the comments below. Um, and how do you deal with it? Happy to listen, happy to chat about it. I want to say thank you for being here. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscription button. If you're not new here, but you've been watching for a while and you haven't hit that notification bell. If you want to get notified when these videos come out, ding, 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 you know what to do. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go uh, have some breakfast. I'm also going to go watch Kevin Exconde's new Feast Friday video been so excited to watch that uh, I think it's gonna be pretty good his videos are epic go check them out all right make sure you like subscribe comment do the whole shit back and hustle ciao